How you feeling today, baby? I was telling you about my feelings about this video. Yes. I had other thoughts and other concerns. Okay. And then instead, I found a TikTok about it while I drove home. We're going to watch that instead. Okay. okay. I don't have to have feelings. I have videos that have my feelings <laughs> for me to have. In the future, that's what they're going to have you do. You know, instead mm -hmm. of talking about your feelings, they're yeah. just going to say, play the video. Play the video that you feel. <laughs> Don't right. pick the smiley face. Point at the video. <laughs> so we're not about to address the elephant in the room? What are you talking about? Okay, fine. My ex uh, and I back together. Oh, no, you got to be... So we're not about to... <laughs> no, I'm not saying I got together with my ex. But I am saying that the video about the elephant... Oh, For yeah. Casual Geographic yeah. is down. It's gone. So there's a three-second clip that he took and the guy that shot the video is on YouTube. He just goes through the copyright section and just clicks send copyright to everyone yeah. that uses this clip that I shot 14 years ago. So we now have a copyright strike. So it's struck, it's not coming back. I'm gonna appeal it and see if he doesn't respond within the two weeks. Yeah. And then I might appeal his appeal uh, that would turn, <laughs> turn it into a court case. So we'll see what we decide to do. Also, you can tell me my wife matched with uh, jerseys it's anime-based, non-anime-looking fashion, and I love it. Well, yours is anime-based. Mine is clearly inferior, and it's Batman-themed. Ooh. Mm, don't copy me. Uh, <laughs> dumb. No. <laughs> what does DC stand for? I don't know. Today, today we're here to watch... <laughs> Somewhere, it, I think DC stands for Detective Comics. Is it Detective Comics? So that it's Detective Comics Comics. Ah. Which is hilarious. I, I saw it in a meme. It might not be true. I get all my information from the internet now. I, I so. hear that. Uh, anyway, title of this vid is Why This Bird Could Be a Threat to International Security. And I just think it's really rude to talk about uh, female senators like that. Ha! This bird. Leave uh, leave Hillary Clinton alone. Dude, owls are actually so fascinating. They fly silent, just like my farts. All right, here we go. Into the vid. Man, this, is, this intro is full of bangers. All right. This All right. Full, it's full okay. of bangers. Here we go. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Not even Dr. Seuss on Adderall and a deadline could cook up a bigger what? threat to national security than this bird. Owls are like Why real life cryptids. Avian aliens like that? had overslept and missed their return flight home. If cameras weren't real and you'd never seen one, you would not believe this bird existed oh, on the same planet. That's, that's cool all the intro shot. we need because we can start right here with an owl giving you a backstage VIP pass to its eyes. Owls have ears and no. They're not here, but mm -hmm. on the sides of its face yeah. with feathers covering it Your like a holes. comb over covering a bald spot. Call it alopecia. I can't tell you how many licks to get to alopecia. a Tootsie Pop G spot, but it takes two fingers to get to a Hoot Ninja's control center. And that's speaking crazy. of seeing, that's another thing. Owls don't have eyeballs, more like eye tubes that can't move and are yes. on their sides. Right. Which is how a bird already associated with death can be on straight exorcist timing. Able to turn their heads 270 degrees without divorcing their skulls to Antoinette way. Thanks to special blood vessels in the neck. All and the right. only reason they even have to do all that is because as creatures of the night, they have giant eyes to catch enough light to see. Mm -hmm. Think of the chronically perked out mm -hmm. primate, the tarsier. Mm -hmm. But owls also have small skulls, so having eyes built like rods is the only way they can fit. Owl eyes are huge. For reference, if human eyes were proportionally the same, we'd be walking around with glimpse globes the size of grapefruits. <laughs> I really can't Great stress how much of a cheat code, though. Wait, can like, you imagine? <laughs> yeah. It's just like, what's up, guys? <laughs> two of these on my face? That would be so hilarious. Funny. I would stare into your eyes all the time. You wouldn't have a choice. Yeah. Everything would stare into my eyes all the time. <laughs> You'd have to have a really good personality. Bro, 4K vision would not be enough, bro. I'd be like, this is only in 4K? That sucks. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I need more definition. Daily reminder to change your resolution oh, yeah. to 4K. Yeah. We upload in 4K. Right. Watch our videos in 4K, you people. Dweebs. <laughs> Sound like a good one, you know? <laughs> Three, two, one, play. Those are. Some, like the Oriental Bay, can see with their eyes closed. Those eyes I'm might sorry? be the biggest self point that owls aren't from this earth. Quite possibly literally. Mm. You can tell a lot about a person from their eyes, and the same goes for owls, but with their color. Mm. I did say creature of the night, but not all of them are not <laughs> oh Owls God. with yellow eyes are more likely to be diurnal exactly. and active during the day. Really? Orange leaves are probably crepuscular, and if eyes are windows to the soul, black eyes tell you no one's been home for a minute. But mm. also that they're nocturnal and darkness really is their domain. Got but it. then you have this. 
If you Hell venture on the yeah. free side of the internet, you definitely know about Mothman, a humanoid demon spawn with two eyes apparently redder than any red you've ever seen. Right. Well, if you thought I was being cute about the cryptid stuff, this is the Stygian that Owl. That's so America, cool. Named after the river of sticks that the souls of the dead would have to travel to get to the underworld of Hades, according to Greek mythos. The That's so cool, by the way. Hmm. Imagine being just a fucking owl living your life, and they're like, you know what you remind me of? <laughs> <laughs> You river. remind me of the river of hell. River of blood <laughs> and fire. Their eyes are naturally yellow, but the special tissue for night vision behind its retina causes it to reflect red under artificial light. Mm. And between that, that and the pseudo horns, you kind of see how the mix-up might have happened. Right. There's also the infamous Flatwoods Monster with free real estate in West Virginia folklore, which might have just been a barn owl from a really unfortunate angle, which is also understandable. Hello. But those that know about barn owls, and if so you don't, you will in this video, barn <laughs> owls are a different kind of freaky. But the most cursed owl might be the one that's Swallowing not alive that anymore. Born a megalonyx was a giant ancient Cuban predator of a bird believed to have stood at up to three feet seven inches. What? This is something I've never heard of before in my entire life. There were gigantic owls. Three feet? That is massive. I don't have the tape measure on here anymore, but no. that's huge. Three feet is crazy. Yeah. Such a unit that the Cuban predator of a bird believed to Look have stood at that, up to dude. three feet seven inches tall. It was such a unit that the first scientist to see its bones thought it was a type of terror bird mm -hmm. before it was later classified as an owl. Yeah, but terror bird does not have to be a name to be a lifestyle because they were believed to be ambush predators that would have airdropped you to the afterlife with ah. bone crushing talons. It's also believed they would have murked prey as big as modern day black bears. What? As big as they are, they probably spent most of their time on the ground and only took flight when fight was off the table, mm. basically acting like turkeys. Sounds like no big deal until you remember how on timing <laughs> turkeys can be. But like Fidel, the op of Cuba has long been past tense, but today, there's over 250 flavors of hoop men populating the earth. Obviously way too many for me to describe them all. Right. So I'm gonna just run through my favorites. Okay. Sure. This is the largest owl in the world, the Blakenson's fish owl, and they earned a distinction off a of mostly pescatarian diet, mm -hmm. clearly cut from the same cloth as his decommissioned Cuban cousin. And then you have the owl just bigger than ah. a Coke can with less gravity than a golf ball, the elf owl. But that doesn't stop this undersized Muppet from being a menace of scorpions, among other things. He's oh. vicious. He's a vicious predator. So instead of doing hunts with, uh, you know, black lights, I could have just released like a little owl back there. <laughs> Like, go so get true. him. He probably can't eat enough, though. Remember that one house that had, like, hundreds well, of I'm just, I'm just saying, for funsies. Well, for wow factor. <laughs> you know? Oh, you could have got an army of them. <laughs> just get a lot. Just bring more. This is going to be about, I don't know, 12, 13 baby owls. <laughs> Let's go. They're like, great. So you got rid of the scorpion. Right. How do I? I lost them. They fly <laughs> quiet. I don't know where they are. They're nocturnal. I go to bed by seven o'clock. The dead. things are gone. <laughs> This is a great horned, also called a tiger owl, but not mm. because of their colorway, but because they're like nature said f it and gave an apex predator wings. Mm. I'm gonna get to them later, but just know huh. this aggro tweety is to other owls what orcas are to this attention oh, race. Oh it's my personal favorite, the I snowy wait. owl, that a battle tested survivalist able to live in one of the most unlivable places on mm -hmm. earth. But they're also proof that white Air Force energy can be just as much of a headache. <laughs> There's a saw wet and a spectacled owl, which are cute enough to huh. make me rethink the entire narrative of this video. Right. There's a Eurasian eagle owl who's run yeah, like that same narrative on life support. And who I'm only thinking of now because of the one named Flacco I saw at the Central Park Zoo before he escaped and became a regular Manhattan resident. Oh. It was until he hit a building and was diagnosed with death. Damn. Oh. Flacco. And here we have the powerful owl and yes, that's its honest to Abe name. It's uh. another one with a Jurassic pedicure, which means it can take down some of the biggest prey of any owl. Damn. It's an owl that copied a hawk's homework and changed some of the answers. It looks with a name like that, here. you can probably yeah, guess no. where it's based. In fact, I don't even think I really need to Australia. With mm. if, you, if you saw that thing in Dark Souls, just start giving it things. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because there's yeah. like birds and dark souls. You have yeah. to give them items. Just start giving the best items you got. Just start Absolutely. dropping them down. We need to Australia. Tropical With West. owl seasoning every place on earth that isn't Antarctica, owls obviously have different looks, but also different sounds. Mm -hmm. Whoever told you they only hoot lied more than an underage owl. And while hanging with <laughs> owls is usually a hootin' nanny, if your neighbors would caterwauling barred owls, you'll wake up to the center planet of the apes. They're not all bad. The western screech owl sounds like a fumbled ping pong ball. And you can't tell me the eastern screech doesn't give Kentucky Derby. But you won't find an outburst that's more to blame for mental anguish than the banshee-coated barn owl. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping he was gonna play because I got a story about this. He's 
looking the right side. There's What's the story? Well, so one time we heard like some screeching and stuff at my grandfather's farm. And yeah. like we could not figure out what it was. Uh -huh. And then like, you know, the cats were real upset. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't know what's wrong with the cats. Mm -hmm. And it, it turns out the cats were real hungry. He brought out like hot dogs and all the cats showed up, which is weird. Sometimes some show up, but most of them don't. Yeah. Because they eat rodents. Right. And a, an owl had moved in. <laughs> And then for like the next couple of months, he could not get the owl to move out. Yeah. It was just roosting up there. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know, I threw some stuff at it. It just like shuffled out of the way, just right. kept roosting, just eating all the rodents, so harassing the cats. <laughs> like, it's like he would not leave. So how'd he get him to leave? Waited him out. Okay. Just eventually decided just to go he was one like, day. like, I don't want to live here anymore. So, you know, it causes problems, though, because you got to leave the barn open now. So, mm -hmm. you know, it can get out at some point. Right. You don't want to lock it in there. Yeah. And so the barn was just open for months. Jesus. And all the problems that come with that. So, Which are what? With, farm boy. Chickens get shit on everything. <laughs> Everything they can touch. Okay, but they wouldn't go in there because of the owl, right? Dude, chickens are kind of stupid, okay? <laughs> it's very much like object permanence. <laughs> okay. You know? Like, so yeah, no, not remembering that. Yeah, just chicken poop, duck poop. Cows got out one day, cow poop. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all the problems that come with leaving the barn up at poop. Well, wind, you know, blowing stuff off of counters. Oh, I understand. Most things are not like secured down. So they can get pooped on. <laughs> R.I.P. to that owl. Why didn't your grandpa just like... That's messed up, man. <laughs> Shoot a hole in your barn roof, probably. Got it. Yeah, yeah you don't, don't want to do that. that. Yeah, bird shot is like, yeah. it's a spray. So oh, okay. I don't want to do that. I was going to say, I feel like you said that's messed up, but I feel like your grandpa would not be opposed. He would not shoot his own barn. They he should... would not shoot his barn, though. Yeah, so not that even makes a little sense. bit. Yeah, yeah hell no. Because then he'd have to get up there and fix that's it. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's doing that. Which his grandpa can do, by the way. Well, could his... do. He's old now. What's up, old man? <laughs> Still living. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, there's something about barn owls. Sound might arguably be the most ah, unsettling thing about terrifying. them. And I'm not talking about the sound they make. You definitely know that owls have better hearing than a mom after you close a door a decibel above what's acceptable. Mm. But you might not know just how far nature went to give them the advantage. Those two ears we <laughs> talked about aren't symmetrical. The left ear is usually lower than the right, which means an owl and a prowl can pinpoint exactly where a noise came from based on what ear detects right, it first. Right, that's If it hits the left crazy. first, then the owl can be sure it came from below. Owl why can't, why couldn't humans be built like that? Well, we walk on the floor, so we don't need that. I guess, but I'm just just saying it'd be nice when I heard a sound to know where it was if coming, it's coming from. from above it's too late <laughs> <laughs> based on what ear detects it first if it hits the left first and the owl can be sure yeah, that's below. Cool. owls also have faces built like satellite dishes or mm -hmm. I guess technically the dishes look like owls either way it collects sound right, and funnels it towards first. the ears the wildest variant of this build is the great God. gray owl that Big honestly looks forehead. like a guy's business punched in by nature <laughs> they have the biggest facial disc of any owl meaning you can hide under two feet of snow and ice and still get got by a gray wow. that owl gives me the same energy as that one ape monkey mm, orangutan no the one with the plate face mm. you know what i'm talking about yeah it's not an orangutan no look up orangutan bet you it's I'm an orangutan plate face ape okay also all of our google searches are oh it is an orangutan yeah i know that's why i kept saying it <laughs> i thought it was the mysteries of the orangutan <laughs> <laughs> which is funny License plate, uh, plate faced ape, and then search number one, license plate frames. Sure. Google sucks now. Yeah, it's terrible. You're garbage. I didn't realize it was orangutan. Even blindly nosedive into the snow, just like the Arctic fox, because same mm -hmm. test, same solution. That's convergent evolution. Owls also figured out how to rearrange Suspicious. their feathers to change the shape of their disc, meaning they can basically shape shift. Oh. Depending on the situation, owls can make themselves look bigger when they're huge. Threatened. Or the changeling will do the opposite, either for camouflage oh, or for the dog factor. You see what I mean when I say no other animal has contributed more to cryptid culture. Imagine being right. the first person to see this IRL. Right, but yeah. I'm not done. There's one more supernatural ability owls okay. have that might just be the most OP of all, and it's also because of their feathers. Okay. The experiment by BBC Earth took three birds and had them fly from one mm. researcher to another with mm. several highly sensitive microphones to pick up even the slightest uh, noise. Yeah, I remember First this. was the pigeon. <laughs> This is so much fun to watch. Anyone who's lived near them. Next was the fastest bird alive, the peregrine falcon. Again, pretty standard stuff. But mm -hmm. then came the barn owl, and this is why I called them hoot ninjas earlier. Yeah. It's just like nothing. All right, 
Let's talk about it. Pigeons are social birds that also get. Can we can we find a clip of that without the background music? Like the deafening sound of it is just yeah. so uncomfortable. Like your brain actually thinks like, oh, you just took the sound out. Right. Like it sounds like there's, like there's nothing there. Like you can hear the rustling, you can hear the papers moving, and then it, it like screams, and then it makes no noise. Yeah. And you're like, disorienting shout. <laughs> <laughs> Go get his ass. Go oh get his my ass. God. In a bucket by multiple birds of prey. So their takeoff sound is like an alarm call to the rest of the flock. Mm -hmm. So if one pigeon goes, you know the rest will follow. Right. The crested pigeon even evolved their own form of a ringtone. Then there's a pigeon paralysis demon, the falcon. And since yep. they put all their evolution points into speed, they don't have to worry about the sound they make, just one shot in their prey into the next <laughs> world. But with owls, they have modified flight feathers that makes it a living lethal weapon with a silencer. So cool. There is one important catch though. A sweetie sold its soul for a built-in muffler, and it cost a waterproof oil coating mm. on their feathers. That's how the steely-eyed gatekeeper of the night turns into an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, that's this where might be the most from. damning evidence for the alien allegation. 70% of the earth is water. If this is what 70% of the world does to you, I have to assume you're not from it. And right. once owls get too wet, they can't fly. And clearly they didn't read the terms of service, cuz they do not look happy about it. Right. I'd say it's a fair trade though, cuz a flight happy dinosaur on silent mode with night vision and god tier hearing equipped might be one of the most conceptually terrifying things to be hunted right. by. They say getting gripped by an owl feels a lot like getting caught in the jaws of a German shepherd. Who? Who said are you speaking to rodents? <laughs> He's out here talking to the field mice, and he's like, yeah, bro. There's got to be people that want to shake hands with owls. There's got to be at least two or three out there. They're like, I want to shake shake my hand. You don't remember that clip, the shake my hand clip? Yes. The aggressive guy? Yes. Because every time I go shake my hand, you don't say anything. That doesn't live in your brain 24-7. No. Aggressive handshaking changed my life. But what is living in my brain is the thought of, like, Worms. maybe they have... Huh? Uh, maybe they have. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they have. <laughs> maybe they have. They have an owl. Yeah. Pick up a baby. Shut up. Stop then, talking. Stop then, talking. Stop this. And then later in the baby's mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. they interview the baby. Wah. <laughs> right. The oh, babies when, do. When the baby can talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> much, much later. Yes. Okay. Yes, but it's a grown baby. <laughs> right. Like six. Like a toddler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they interview that baby. Yeah. They ask that baby, how did it feel mm -hmm. to be picked up by an owl? And it goes, <laughs> German Shepherd. <laughs> but like a deep baby voice. <laughs> How would a baby say German Shepherd? There's no way a baby is nailing the term German Shepherd, but what syllable do they fail at? I don't know. Like a drunk man. Say say I German had, Shepherd like a drunk man would say German I, Shepherd. I hadn't gotten that far <laughs> in the scenario to where the baby answered. That's why I'm presenting it to you. Say German Shepherd like a drunk person would say German Shepherd. I, I don't know. I speak clearly when I'm drunk. German Shepherd. You know what? The fuck out of my face. <laughs> getting disqualified from life by an owl usually means getting crushed to death. If the prey is too big, they'll just dismember it. Since owls like to eat their prey head first, that usually means decapitation. Oh, so if you ever see an animal that's physically lost its mind, you can be sure an owl somewhere ate good. Mm. Owls will also surplus kill. A picture was taken of a slaughtered <laughs> owl pantry with about 70 dead lemmings arranged like a wreath. And there's even a story of scientists finding an owl yeah. nest with 70 plus cat collars, although I personally don't believe that one. Damn. But the avian assassin is for sure one of the most underrated predators Beep. in nature. Yeah, we're not about to skip past an owl snatching a hawk in Just its own stole his You baby. see, there's birds of prey and the ones birds prey about. And owls are definitely the ones birds prey about. Owls will regularly grief other birds of prey like this beheaded red-tailed hawk Damn. or this young cooper hawk. As you've seen, they'll use the cover of darkness to commit hit and flies on families like this parrot and falcon. And it's not always off. about a meal. Sometimes it's about sending a message. Mm -hmm. Owls don't usually build their own nest and this homicidal air mime has been seen attacking bald Beep. eagles in an attempt to hijack theirs. But owls Owls also don't believe in squatters' rights, so God help the Kestrel that try to use their own strat against them. Owls are honestly what would happen if you gave honey badgers Red Bull. They're definitely one of those pit around and find out animals, but there is one bird owls have generational beef with. Bird he owls and crows have one of the most infamous rivalries in nature, and it's because oh. owls will kill without prejudice, and often that includes crows. But crows are also highly intelligent, and arguably the smartest birds on earth, but more importantly, they have the capacity to hold grudges yeah. and seek revenge. Right, so and you kill. You killed Uncle Jerry, and we did not forget. Yeah, because also they operate as gangs. As gangs, yeah. yeah. Pro gang. Yep. 
So crows will mob any owls mm -hmm. caught in broad daylight when they have Surely the advantage, will. harassing the bird of prey using the OP power of friendship. It's how the same predator that can check falcons, hawks, and even eagles can get railroaded by a murder of crows. Mm -hmm. The beef is so ingrained that crows that have never even seen an owl will instinctively choose violence, and owls will take out any single lone crows they can. And I know I've been saying crows, but ravens aren't exactly fans either, right. especially when an owl can change its Facebook status to nevermore. There's yeah. another bird of prey this flying deratio has major problems with each other. Owls regularly oh. hunt and kill other owls. The two main suspects, the great horned owl from before mm -hmm. and the barred owl. Barred oh. owls are pretty competent predators on their own and often they get victimized by the flying tiger. Right. It's technically not cannibalism the same way a leopard eating a cheetah or a red fox flatlining its arctic cousin isn't. It still feels wrong as hell. Yeah. The barred owl can be a different kind of problem, which is why the US government has been trying to pass a bill to mark 400,000 of them. What? And if that sounds OD, mm -hmm. it's because the flying invasive garbage disposal eats literally everything to the point where they've been out competing the native spotted owl into near oblivion. Oh. The crazy thing is, life retiring 400,000 would barely put a dent in their population. Really? Owls will also run fades with deer, and they're not afraid to press other land predators in their <gasps> territory Damn. like coyotes. Snowy owls are a special kind of trigger happy since they have to compensate for having their nests on the ground. Mm. The result is the biggest crash out of the owls choosing fight like and flight through the whole wolf. There have even been reports of them dive bombing polar bears that wander too close. Damn. For all their talents, there aren't really any documented cases of an owl putting a person in the coffin. Mm. Dang. That is, unless you believe the staircase owl theory. In 2003, Michael Peterson was convicted of murdering his wife Kathleen in their home in North Carolina. And according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Okay. There's been legitimate theories that it was actually a barred owl that attacked her and caused her to fall down the stairs. The theory gained more traction when it was revealed that feathers were later found in her hair and that the lacerations mm -hmm. on her head were pretty consistent with getting mauled by an owl. Damn. Now, full disclosure, I'm not really that informed on the case, but even I thought that was a stretch. But crazier things have happened. Let me remind you that the entire world thought Lindy Chamberlain was guilty. Whole time a dingo really did eat yeah, the baby. That's a fact. You might never know for sure, but there's a reality where a man served hard time for a crime an owl committed. Now you might Damn, come away from this video up. thinking I feel some type of negative about owls. No, not even a little bit. I think they're great. Yeah, they're I'm, I'm liking this. Also, complete side note, uh, just based off vibes, did he do it? We're not experts. I'm not asking you to be an expert. If you know something, forget what you know. Based off vibes from the picture, did he do it? Not off these vibes. Really? Look at his shirt. It's so fun. He could never. He's got ears like he fights people, but no cauliflower. Yeah, but, you know, you wear shirts like that, and you'd never murder me. I don't wear shirts like that. You definitely. Oh, I would wear that yeah, shirt. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I don't I know why you. <laughs> I kind of like that shirt, murderer. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> I, I would never condone wife killing, but I would compliment his fashion. <laughs> <laughs> That's so twisted. The barn owl family can eat a thousand rodents in a season. Speaking of the barn owl, they're monogamous, and not only will they often mate for life, they'll often return to the <laughs> same nest year after year. You can't have that kind of longevity without reinforcing your bond, and the owl equivalent of a vow renewal is what you're seeing right here, called billing. That and a good intimate mm. breeding session. And while they're still wild animals that really aren't meant to be pets, the ones rescued by humans can often end up in prison on them. That's the result cute. makes depression here boss music. And even though they're often associated with dark and death, in Japan they're often seen as a sign of good fortune. Moral of the story, owls aren't harbingers of doom. They're not the feathery antichrist. Nah, owls <laughs> are just the cats of birds. And I honestly ah. love that for them. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'm not kidding when I say I hyper fixated on owls for a couple of weeks. So I much that, that I'm actually planning a trip to a raptor trust near me. If Dope. this video gets wow. 130,000 likes, I'll share some pictures and videos with y'all. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the promise I made here because y'all really Really demolished last video's like goal. Like, for mm -hmm. it, I did not think y'all would do it that fast. And because I'm a man of my word, I will be visiting an elephant sanctuary wow, sometime this summer cool. and recording it for y'all. I do want to make sure I'm supporting a legitimate right. place. So if anyone has any experience with them and can recommend any ethical ones, feel free to comment down below. We'll get to that bridge. But until we do, make sure you drink water. If you have a spouse, go tell me you love them right now. If owls can do it, so can you. Right now. He said, "Do it right now." You do it right now. We're an internal deadlock, but we'll get back to you. Support your local Sky Cats, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Owl bath. <laughs> so cute. It's like a little squeak toy. Yeah. <laughs> the and then he's like, shit, I can't fly out. It's in his ears. Yeah. It's just a hole in there. Going back. 
Sauce. No, I was about to say, I was about to say, you put the hot back in there. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, wife, for joining me. Thank you, husband, for having me. Yeah, I, I, it was a pleasure. I didn't know you were going to be so pleasant about that. I'm pleasant about everything. Also, also, I have a. Our little space bar does not work to pause videos anymore. What the hell's going on? Also, I have yes. a question. What? So he said, mm -hmm. if we kill the 400,000 owls, Boom. he says it's, not, it's barely going to put a dent in their population. Mm -hmm. How many fucking owls are there? Yeah, that's a really good In point. the world. Yeah, is it, is it a worldwide ban? We didn't look at the details. No, it's just in the U.S. I'm, I th I'm assuming it's just in the Pacific Northwest. I th Man. If I read that correctly, that's I didn't thinking. really read the whole thing. We'd have to like look it up and see what little area we're talking about. But yeah, you know, there are some animals that are way more than I assume. Yeah. You know? And owls are apparently one of them. Owls are definitely one of them. If you tell me there's that many pigeons, I'm like, yeah, a million's not enough. Yeah. Right? We need more. Right. But owls? Because they're so big. You're just I, thinking, I just never anticipated there being a lot of them. Yeah. Invasive species make sense, though, because they hunt mm -hmm. too well. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, of course, we have more suggestions when you guys left a bunch of suggestions on that other post that I made. Yep. Those are coming up in the near future. I just did a leg day. I need to go off and cry in the bath. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Love you. Said it first. BG. Bye. Oh, you bastard.